Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, new video. So in this video, we are going to discuss with the pass transistor logic. Okay. The pass transistor logic, which is called as PTL, is an alternative logic design methodology that reduces the transistor count and enhances the circuit efficiency. Okay. So this pass transistor logic uh, is the mainly uh, applicable due to the reduced transistors and the efficiency would be uh, enhanced in the circuit part. Okay. It is particularly popular in NMOS circuits with the fundamental application being a two input multiplexer. Okay. So this is basically used to build the two is to one or four is to one multiplexers. Okay. A notable implementation of this PTL is found in the ALU function unit of the OM1 computer. Okay. So this was our past transistor logic introduction. NMOS and CMOS complementations of pass transistor logic. So first let us see the NMOS pass transistor logic. So in NMOS pass transistor logic, uh, as uh, the name intends NMOS, so here the NMOS transistors are used. Uh, here you could see the diagram here. So this is used to build one uh, uh, simple 4 is to 1 MUX. Okay. Using NMOS pass transistor logic, they have built this uh, 4 is to 1 MUX. In this NMOS based uh, PTL, the pass transistors are used to, to steer signals to the output based on the control inputs. Okay. So this figure below illustrates the NMOS structure where only NMOS transistors are used. So if you see this uh, figure carefully, you would be coming with a conclusion you see here. So this is the figure. So based on the working of the 4 is to 1 multiplexer, it would be having two inputs and four select lines, right? So the, you, if you consider these two inputs here, that is uh, A and B, along with its complements, that is A bar and B bar. And uh, since we have two inputs and four select lines, we would be having four combinations, that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, right? So based on those combinations, the circuit is built here, okay? You see here, this is the NMOS pass transistor logic. So uh, according to the working of 4 is to 1 multiplexer, if uh, 0, 0, if the combination is 0, 0, the first select uh, that is the first uh, uh, p1 is selected but here it is ulta p4 would be selected first okay so just they have uh, uh, named the sequence uh, in a reverse manner actually this should be p4 this should be p3 this should be p2 and this should be p1 okay so this would be getting selected in case of 00, zero and for 01 this would be getting selected for 10 this would be getting selected and for 11 this would be getting selected okay so based on that, the transistor is built here. You see here, 0, 0, right? 0, 0 means A bar, B bar, okay? In in the in the place of A bar, B bar, you see here, we are uh, having uh, attached one uh, NMOS transistor here, A, A bar and B bar, so that the combination is 0, 0. So when it is 0, 0, P4 would be getting selected. Similarly for 0, 1, that is A bar, B. So you see here, A bar, B, the two NMOS transistors are drawn below A bar and B. So this would be getting selected. Then we have 1, 0, that is A, B bar, that is uh, here you see these two transistors A, B bar will be getting selected. This line will be getting selected. Then we have 1, 1, that is A, B. Again, we have, they have drawn two NMOS transistors here and P1 would be getting selected. So these all things would be combined together and the one common output is taken. Okay. And that is called as the pass transistor logic output. Okay. So this is the complete stru structure of the NMOS pass transistor logic. Okay. Similarly, we have one more kind of uh, pass transistor logic that is called as CMOS pass transistor logic. In that, we are using both PMOS transistor as well as NMOS transistor. Okay. So, let us see that also in brief. Before that, let us see the advantages. Advantages of uh, this uh, NMOS pass transistor logic. It provides the fastest fall time due to strong NMOS pull down. And one disadvantage is that it suffers from threshold voltage lo uh, loss that is the VTH drop. Uh, leading to the degraded high level signals okay so this was all about the nmos pass transistor logic now one more kind is cmos pass transistor logic okay so this figure you see here with this you would be uh, it would be very clear about how the cmos pass transistor logic would be looking like here they have built this using the transmission gate here okay the cmos ptl uses both pmos as well as nmos transistors ensuring full voltage swing okay this implementation provides strong pull up and pull down characteristics so this is uh, the cmos version uh, where each nmos transistors are replaced with the full transmission gate as shown in the figure 
if you compare this figure and this figure it is it is the same but one change is the nmos transistors are replaced by the transmission gates okay this is one uh, alternative figure for this one more alternative is there that is this one for the exam if they ask you should be drawing this figure okay again this is drawn for a 4 is to 1 multiplexer you see here again we have two inputs and four select lines that is p4 pt uh, p3 p2 p1 so here it is uh, given in the correct se uh, sequence here here it was given ultra right p1 p2 p3 p4 here you see it is given in the correct manner that is p4 p3 p2 p1 okay again uh, according to the combinations uh, when it is 0 0 p4 would be getting selected for 0 1 p3 for 1 0 p2 and for 1 1 p1 only one change is that in the nmos pass transistor they are using only nmos transistors but in case of full voltage swing here we are using also the pmos transistor okay just consider only this part here up to here if you consider it is same as the nmos pass transistor logically there is no change here see for 0 0 that is a bar b bar this is selected uh, just below that uh, nmos transistors are drawn and for other combinations but in, in order to draw the pmos it, you should be drawing just the opposite to that of nmos okay so you see here from p1 this is the connection for 1 1 right that is a b now if here for nmos if here it is 1 1 complement to that for p mos it should be 0 0 okay for if here if here it is 1 1 if you want to draw for p mos transistor it should be 0 0 because the characteristics of nmos and p mos are just opposite to each other right so that's why you see here from this point p1 point they have taken one terminal here just and they have drawn two transistors just below a bar and b bar that is 0 and 0 okay since here it is 1 1 that is a b you should be drawing opposite to that of a b that is a bar b bar similarly for next combination that is uh, this is p2 right so this is uh, a and b bar that is a uh, 1 0 since it is here it is 1 0 if you want to draw the complement p mos it should be 0 1 that is a bar b so here they have drawn the same thing here a bar b that is 0 1 for pmos from this point they have taken it similarly for p3 that is uh, 0 1 uh, that is in this case it is a bar b but if you draw for uh, uh, pmos it should be 1 0 that is a b bar you see here they have drawn it a b bar similarly for uh, 0 0 that is this line would be getting selected it should be uh, a bar b bar but if you want to draw it for pmos it should be 1 1 okay so here we have a b okay so these are this is the change for the uh, CMOS pass transistor logic if you compare it with the NMOS logic. Okay, so hope it is clear how to draw the CMOS pass transistor logic. Okay, a more reliable layout is depicted in the above figure which reduces the direct N2P transistor connections and enhances the circuit practically and performance. Okay, so this is one more kind, uh, this is uh, not required and this won't be coming as well. This is the dynamic pass transistor logic. Here what we are doing is the same as the NMOS transistor pass transistor logic just in the output we are adding one PMOS uh, circuit and from the uh, and from the output we are adding one NOT gate here and one uh, extra connections we are making and from that point we are uh, adding one uh, function and that is called as F bar of A comma B which is called as dynamic pass transistor logic which is used for recharging and evaluating phase okay to check the alternate clock signals 0 and 1. So this is not required. So these are the formal methods of designing the pass transistor logic. Okay, one is uh, PTL model. You see here, we have input and output and one control signal that is called as the gate uh, gate terminal. Okay, and uh, zero one zero one. You see here, when input is zero and control is zero, the output is not defined. That is, it would be either zero or one. But when input is one, control is zero, output is again not defined. But when the control signals are one, whatever may be the input output remains the same. Okay, just opposite to that of the this is for NMOS model and this is for PMOS model. Okay, so they are mentioned here. So this is the simple uh, diagram of XOR gate using pass transistor logic. They are mentioned here. So this is the truth table of XOR. So if you take uh, A as the control signal, we can observe the truth table that uh, when A is equal to zero, Y is equal to B. And when a is equal to 1, y would be equal to b bar. Okay. So this is the with this observation, we were drawing the PTL uh, circuit here. Okay. That is just uh, draw the circuit with the b and b bar and a and a bar. 
and take the output between the uh, drain terminals and when you see here when a is 0 y would be fetched back to b okay and when a is 1 that is a uh, uh, a bar would be getting selected so that's why y would be equal to b bar okay so yeah, that's all guys these are some of the challenges and uh, uh, considerations of uh, ptl challenges are voltage degradation that is VTL, vth drop increased internal node capacitance requirement for complementary control signals slower pull down in complementary structures and uh, some practices okay some practices are it uh, it achieves efficient ptl circuits the following techniques should be considered that is a uh, precharged output nodes static ptl with feature buffers uh, feedback buffers and complementary pass networks that is the cvs so these are some of the challenges and practices of the pass transistor logic so yeah that's all guys these were the things which i needed to discuss under pass transistor logic i hope you understood these 